Hi, welcome to Paul's Tackler Reviews. My name's Paul Cresswell. The purpose of this YouTube channel is to give you some real life reviews from an unsponsored, unbiased angler on tackle that I've taken out on the bank so that you can make your own decisions about whether you want something or whether you think it's for you. Just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. We all have our own preferences. Today, I'm talking about fishing waterproofs and I've got two bibs and brace and two jackets there to take you through. Now, there's a lot of discussion on internet forums, Facebook groups about waterproofs and call me old fashioned, but for me, the most important thing is that they are waterproof. And I see people reviewing jackets and saying, yeah, it's a great jacket, really nice fit, but it's not fully waterproof. That isn't waterproof for me. That isn't what you need when you're fishing, when you could be out six, seven hours in heavy rain. I think waterproof is the key. If you get something that's waterproof, it's going to be windproof. There's no way wind's going through and water's not. But there's also the issue of breathability. And that means when you sat there and you might get warm, especially when you've just been setting up, how quickly does the sweat kind of wick away? And do you feel clammy or wet while you're wearing stuff? Because we all know if you've got an old cagoul out the 80s and put it on, you were as wet on the inside as you were on the outside. I don't fish with a brolly above me. As you'll see from one of my other videos, I fish with a brolly over my bait, which my family find hilarious, but I don't fish with one myself. I think they get in the way when you cast in, when you ship in, and I've seen sections broken in wind where they've blown over. I just don't think umbrellas are for me. So let's look at waterproofs and we're going to start with waterproof bottoms. And I personally like a bib and brace. That means you've got shoulder straps, you kind of step into it and it'll come up to around here and around there on the back. And then you have um, Velcro or you have zippers to put it over your boots at the bottom. I think waterproof bottoms are harder to get than a waterproof jacket. And I think you can get jackets cheaper I think there's lots of waterproof jackets out there. The bottoms are difficult because we're sat down, so the water's running off our jackets and it's running into this area. And what I've found with waterproofs that aren't very good is that it's that area around your crotch where the water gets in. You take your waterproofs off and you've got kind of a wet area there around the front. So you sat down, you sat in the water and it's kind of, that's the key point where it all comes together and that's where you get problems with waterproofs. So I think everybody recognises that Gore-Tex is the ultimate waterproof material and you can go out and buy a pair of Gore-Tex walking, hiking bottoms and they will keep you waterproof but I don't think they're built or designed to withstand the rigors of fishing. So you sat for long periods of time, you've got dirt and you've got bait and you've got the pole shipping over your legs. And I just don't think that they're gonna last. They might give you waterproofing, but they're not gonna last. And a lot of fishing gear is designed to give it extra support around this area, around there and on your knees as well. So I've tried various brands over the years and I'm talking over 30 years serious fishing as an adult and I've tried various ones and I've bought sets where the jacket's been grey and the bottoms just haven't been waterproof. I think the best I used to have and they no longer is this sadly is ProTac and they were great waterproofs, but eventually all waterproofs go and you need to replace. So I think 
there's only one real brand for me and that's Halcon Hunt Gore-Tex Waterproof. This is made by anglers and it's designed for anglers and it's widely recognised to be the best and the name for waterproofs in fishing. So when you talk about waterproofs you talk about hydrostatic head and how many thousands of litres of water it will stand and I don't fully understand it but what I do know is in the pecking order Gore-Tex is the top and my research says that gives you 28,000 hydrostatic head of protection and that's the most. I'll come on to something that's 25 an awful lot of stuff in the fishing market from the major brands is 20,000 kind of waterproof rating so you can see that at the top sits Halcon Hunt. So they've been around for a really long time and there's lots of stories and people say I've had these 15 20 years they've been around that long they are a UK company and I think that's great to support and like I said the the top person there is a female international angler and world champion so what do you get with those you get quality taped seams and that means where the material is joined it's taped, it's taped and it's heated and it's tested so that the water can't get through and I'll put some close-up shots during all of these videos of the little bits so if you look inside the Halcon Hunt it's a kind of grey dark grey material there's lots of taping that's been applied to all the seams and it looks like a job where it's been tested and done absolutely properly. So I got my first pair of Halcon Hunt after spending 100 quid, 120 and whatever on various sets of gear. I got these in 2012. So up until last year these have served me in all weathers and I mean absolute booking in it down I've taken them off at the end of the day and I've been dry as a bone and they've been truly excellent so 2012 up to 2018 uh, 2020 that's eight years I've used these unfortunately last year what I found in the very heaviest rain was that these patches on there were just starting to let a bit of water through now it's not the point where I've thought right I'm throwing them out if we got a bit of rain on any day I will happily sit in those but in the absolute heaviest rain they are no longer fully waterproof so I bought those for 230 pounds back in 2012 and they've done eight years of fishing so even by my maths that's 30 pound a year let's say for proper waterproofs now I've looked after these waterproofs and if you go on the Halcon Hunt website they will tell you how to look after Gore-Tex clothing clothing they recommend that you use something called Granger's two-in-one and I've washed these probably every six months in Granger's. Now it isn't just put it in the washing machine and run it. You need to make sure you've got all the detergent out of the washing machine. So invariably I run a, a hot wash with no detergent in. My wife loves it because I even take the drawer out and clean out all the residue that's in the drawer before I start it. I put those in. You'll see the instructions on their website put I think it's 50 ml of Granger's per item put them on a wash put them on a tumble dry for 40 minutes and then just hang them up to let any residue and that reactivates the waterproofing and the layers that it's got the Granger's I've just got some recently from Go Outdoors if you've got a club membership there it's five pound a year 
I think it was £15 for a litre and that will that will do 20 washers so it isn't expensive but they do need looking after in between times if I get a lot of dirt or whatever I just get a sponge and mop them down you don't want to be using a brush on anything this is a high performing piece of gear that's the best way to look after it so what you'll see and it's not so easy because this one's black but it's the same design not the same colors but the same design so it hasn't changed at all there's a zipper down the middle with a velcro cover there's two outside pockets there's actually a little inside pocket that i don't use both have got the reinforcement on the on the thigh area and they've also got this zip over get it over your boot fastening like i said there'll be lots of close-ups here and they both have the adjustable straps with the clips if you want to take them off that way i just tend to uh, kind of move them to one side to take them off so how can hunt in terms of availability this isn't the kind of gear you're going to walk into a shop and say can you give me some now they do make this stuff for Daiwa so if you get the Daiwa staff top of the range Gore-Tex it's made by Hulk and Hunt that's fine there is a bit of a premium to that um, you can order direct from their factory in in South Yorkshire and it's all on their website and you can pick your own individual colors and your own color scheme and there's lots of different patterns and tons of colors so for the tackle tarts out there you can really go to town you can have your name put on all of that what i will say is if you order from them i think it takes and this obviously in covid times it's difficult but it can take four to six weeks i know if you order then they will give you an estimate of when it's going to be but you're not going to get it in a month you're not going to get it off the shelf following day there's only one way to get it quickly and I got both of these from a shop called Wickersley Anglin who are in South Yorkshire and it's a brilliant tackle shop if you get the chance to go in there and it's between the M1 and the A1 and it's on the just off the M18 and when I say just off it's just on the junction one of the junctions on the M18 it's a brilliant shop they've always got lots of stuff in lots to look at the times I've been and I, I think I've only been three times I've always found lots of bits and bobs that I've wanted to buy I know that they've got um, a proper pole alley at the top now so you can go look at poles and they do lots of different stuff what I will say is they haven't got a massive online presence and their websites um, fairly basic and doesn't have that much stuff but when last year I realized after a couple of outings that these were just starting to go and I tried I washed them and I reproofed them and but they were still going on the thighs I rang up Wickersley Anglin and the following day these turned up and they have various sizes in stock it's probably best to ring because the website's not bang up today because you do have a choice of leg length as well and I think that's quite important a lot of the normal manufacturers Preston, Map, Mavo, whatever they come in one size leg these have got different and I've gone for the slightly longer legs so these are the 32 inch leg now I wouldn't normally wear a 32 inch leg but let's not forget when you sat down they're going to ride up a little bit you don't want them riding up so the water's going in your boot so you need to think about the length of leg that you need but the good news is they're available in shorter legs and longer legs so you should find something to fit in terms of the fit there is lots of room in here so I can 
I can wear, let's say in winter, I'll have my base layer, I'll then have my little heated gilet on, I then might have a thin fleece, I'll then have a windproof fleece on top, and all of that sitting inside there. In the bottom half in winter, I'll have a base layer and I'll have some jogging pants, and I find that warm enough. I'm not one of these who buys a winter suit. I've had winter suits in the past. I think they are, they're okay at times, but it is a little bit like Michelin Man. You don't get the maneuverability and I've never had a problem layering up with this stuff. Like I say, I do have a heated gilet now, but that's only a recent purchase. I think you can, you can put the layers on and importantly, you get the waterproof in. So if you want the current colours available at Wickersley and they're slightly more minimalist than when I got them in 2012 are just this nice kind of blue on there and they also do it with red on there. Personally it's not a fashion competition fishing although some people seem to think it is. I like the blue minimalist, I like it in black, I think they're great. If I was ordering one, I wouldn't go for all the, the bright colours and the various colour patterns, but some people will want it and you can have different parts in different colours, even the thigh bits in different colours. If you go on the Halcon Hunt website, you can see all the colour combinations. You, they've also got some photos on there, so you can see what, what kind of options are out there. So, what's the alternatives to this? Well, everything else I've seen designed for fishing has got a lower waterproof rating. So Drennan, I think it's 25,000. So it's very close, there isn't much in it. A lot of the other stuff, the DF30s, the Prestons, the MAP, the um, Mava MVR20, they're all 20,000, which is still really good weather protection. But my own view on those is, um, some some people get them and say they're great i'm fully waterproof others get them and say they leak a bit and i think you're taking a chance when you get hulk and hunt i don't think you're taking a chance and if this leaked i would contact them and they would i would be able to send it to them and they would test it and if it was faulty they would repair or replace I think also if you look around at what the sponsored anglers wear. Now clearly Preston Innovations tell their consultants you are wearing Preston gear because they all wear it to a man. And I think it's good gear but I know people who've had it who've had problems but all the Preston consultants do that. Let's look at some of the other big names. Jamie Hughes, he doesn't tend to wear Matrix. He uses his spotted fin um, sponsorship. He wears Halcon Hunt done in his colour his color scheme. Um, I've seen Darren Cox as well and you can see the photos and they have that little logo on there. I'll put a photo of that and they've done it in Garbolino colours for him but he's wearing Halcon Hunt. Andy May the same with MAP. I've seen him with Halcon Hunt logo on there. Even Alan Scott on the Drennan man, he isn't wearing the, the Drennan off the shelf bib and brace, he's wearing a pair of Halcon Hunt done in the Drennan colours. And uh, for those Guru fans out there, and I know there's plenty out there, you can order Guru colours from Halcon Hunt as well. And they have a design that's available. Um, I think it's, it's maybe only 20 quid more than this bespoke package, but you can get it in Guru colours. I think in terms of waterproofs, Halcon hunts the best. And like I say, I think for the bottom half, that's what you need. The best of the rest, uh, there's lots of people say, uh, get, saying good things about the Drennan and their 25K clothing. I'm coming on to a Drennan jacket very soon. And there's another company called Real Elite where people say they've had a good experience. 
I've never seen it or I've not seen anybody, um, I don't know anybody who's had that, but they've got a website really Lee, and you can pick and choose. And that's, I think it's around the 160 for the bib and brace, made to measure. Oh, the other thing to say, um, I'm a large, in almost every clothing I buy, I buy a large. I got the large in that, that's the perfect size for me. They've got the sizes on their website, but if you do want something making um, slightly out of the ordinary, there is a bespoke service where you can put your measurements. I think you, in the old days, pre-COVID, you could even go and they would measure you up. And I think there's a 10% surcharge for made to measure clothing. It's a big outlay, 260 that was, plus five a postage, that was 230. So I'm still thinking 30 quid a year. That means if you buy a Preston at 120, are you gonna get four years out of it? You might do. So therefore, is this that expensive? But I do appreciate it's a big upfront lump to shell out. Hi, welcome back. I've decided to um, make this waterproofs video into two separate videos because I think if I carry on, it's just going to be too long. So the first one is going to look at the bib and brace. And then later this week, I'll do another one. And I'm going to look at the map short pole jacket, the waterproof jacket and the three quarter length uh, Drennan waterproof jacket and I've had that um, eight or nine years now so I'll upload that later this week if you hit subscribe you'll get automatically notified when videos come up so that one's coming this week and then the one after will be the Preston ICM and ICS and I'm going to show you which bits I use and how I use them um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, it spurs me on a little bit and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, Tight Lines.